nighttime parenting is a hot topic. Is it necessary, right? So nighttime parenting with the children, are they biologically made to be waking during the night? Is it important that parents are conscious and present with children during this time when really the parents want to be, you know, unconscious? Parents want to be sleeping <laughs> and in their own bed tucked away. How important uh, is this to the growth? The whole nighttime parenting thing, I think children have cycles. They live on the cycles. And the main thing a child needs to un is this, is close proximity to the parents. An infant. I'm talking about infants. Uh, and the simple reason, maybe you've seen the movie Gravity with Sandra Bullock, mm -hmm. uh, George Clooney. And there's this one part where she is uh, like uh, on the spaceship and it gets um, barraged by a whole bunch of small meteors and it breaks up the spaceship. And all of a sudden she lets go of the umbilical cord, <laughs> which is a good name, and floats out into space. And she's floating off into the dark distance of nowhere. People don't understand in birthing is that the child is the same as Sandra Bullock. As long as she's attached by the umbilical cord, she's in good shape. I'm connected. I'm connected. Our conventional birthing processes take the baby away from the mother. Well, that is the same as Sandra Bullock letting go and then floating off into space all alone. And if I say, what would you think if you were Sandra Bullock and you've just been blasted off at a thousand miles an hour into the darkness of empty space, no connection to anything? It would be a most fearful, scary disconnect of life. A baby is connected to the mother with the umbilical cord. When the baby is born, the natural process is for the mother to take the baby from the birth canal, bring it up to her chest. This is a reflex behavior. It's a, a, innate. It's built into a human's uh, without any other knowledge except for the fact that the baby is automatically brought up to the breast. That puts the baby's head on the heartbeat. It's the heartbeat that the baby is connected to. When you take the baby away from that mother, you're putting it into space. It's, it's in fear, <laughs> total mm -hmm. fear. And, and, and so the baby doesn't need any kind of education or anything at, at night. The baby just needs... I'm okay. <laughs> I'm here with my community, so to speak. I'm not floating in space. But I don't see it as an educational opportunity. I see it as a security opportunity. What a baby needs is holding, loving, somatosensory affection, touching in a way that the child knows that it is being taken care of, that it's not alone, that uh, it's got support. That's all the baby really needs at night. <laughs> the education wise, nah, just relax. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. Fantastic. And it sounds like that instance, that beginning state, is what sets up our whole learning process for the world is safe, I am safe. That, that's exactly right, because this is why the medical intervention has really you know, throwing a monkey wrench into normal parenting and that I think historically that when Western medicine birthing techniques are brought into a civilization that's never had them, within a couple of generations there's a breakdown of the social order and the social structure. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the, with the fear that the infant has. Uh, you have to think about it. That baby is the same as Sandra Bullock. It's connected. It's part of the spaceship. It's got the mother's heartbeat. It's got all this thing going on. And then, boom, disconnected. And it's like floating in space. Where's my, where, it's fear. Remember, you can't be in growth and protection at the same time. Th this infant is now clearly not in growth because it has no connection anymore. And it's the equivalent of floating out in space with nothing out there. Uh, that does produce fear. Uh, and that will, you know, inhibit the growth of the child, in fact. You are going to be joining with five other experts. You guys are putting together a class for parents specifically talking about how to shift into being a conscious parent, how to bring this consciousness so that we're not just living 5% of our life in a conscious field, a conscious energy, so that you can bring that into your life. You can share that with your children. This class is starting the end of November. The cost is Relatively, I think it's a phenomenal price. It's $60 in uh, euro pricing, I believe. So very affordable. To find out more about this class with Bruce Lipton and five other conscious parenting experts, you can go to empoweredkidstv.com. For more of this interview with Bruce and myself, be sure to look for chapters one, two, and four. Thanks so much for being with us. All the best to your family.